Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing great and you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. If you've been wondering where I've been and why I haven't been on YouTube, I will have a little bit of a personal update at the very end of this video. But for now, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of something called Date Night Inn, and mine's actually a little bit different. It's the Faith Night Inn, so it's a date night in a box. Uh, but the one that I'm going to be showing you today has a little bit of a faith aspect to it. So um, I learned about Date Night In through uh, Facebook. I kept seeing the ad pop up on my news feed and I thought what an awesome idea because when you have littles and you know little people in the house sometimes it can be really hard to get a date outside of the house. So uh, especially for Ben and I, that's been a little bit of a challenge for us. So something like a date night in that is pre-planned and, and prepared for you uh, just seemed like such a great idea for us. And part of my 2018 relationship goals with my husband is to do more of things like that, the sort of dates and special things. We haven't done a whole lot of that since baby's been born. It's mostly just been like hanging out in the evening and maybe watching a show. We do try to play games uh, like in front of the fireplace with hot cocoa and to chat and stuff like that. So I think we're doing pretty good about fitting in some quality time together. But having something that's um, extra special like a date that is something I would really like to do. So I'll be working with Date Night In uh, once a month for 2018 in doing an unboxing of their Date Night In subscription boxes. And then Ben and I get to enjoy the benefit of having a date delivered to our house that's pre-planned and we don't really have to do anything except open and enjoy. So this is the first of the Date Night In boxes. And like I said, it's the Faith version. So I'll be doing an unboxing and I have to say I have been going crazy just waiting to open this box until I could film. I was tempted to peek ahead of time before opening it with you guys but no, I waited. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this unboxing and I really, I can't wait. So this is the Winter Wonderland Faith Night Inn. This is the December box. And when you look at the box, you can tell there's been so much thought put into even this, the design of the box. And I love these little deer on the outside and the cozy cottage. It already feels very romantic. And um, it's just really, really beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Cool. Okay, so here's just a little bit of literature. Like I said, this is the faith version of the date night in. So let me see. Oh, okay, so in the beginning, it just has a little welcome here. Cool, so it just talks about um, giving you tools to connect to one another and also to connect to God in your relationship. Okay, nice. So it looks like they've included a dinner a recipe, um, so a recommended meal for the evening. It gives you some coaching on getting your date area ready. I like this. It says, take some time to really set the mood for your date tonight. Find a cozy spot to settle in and enjoy each other's company. Grab your holiday incense. Ooh, I guess there's incense in here. Um, let me see, dim the lights and tune into faithnightin.com slash music. So one of the things about the Date Night Inn is they have um, a music playlist that they recommend. So they have a, a recommended meal, they have a playlist that you can tune into. Uh, let me see, be sure to have your Bible handy. If you don't have access to one, check out the Bible Gateway app available on your Apple or Android device. Okay, so they're just getting it in. Date Night Itinerary, cool. Let me see. Oh, they partnered with someone. Okay. Start things off with a silly game of who am I to take you through the date night. So they have discussion. They have to prepare your drink, uh, play tune or tail, create your... Oh, okay. All right. So this is giving some of it away. I'm going to go ahead and pause in reading this little guide here, which is really thick. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to pause in that and I'm going to dive right into what else is in here. Okay, we have name tags. I don't know why we have name tags. That's interesting. 
Wow, this is really neat. Okay, so it says, this holiday season you got coal, but you're not naughty, you've done something nice. You just help provide the women in Kenya with new charcoal efficient stoves. So I guess by buying this box, uh, we are supporting women in Kenya. So that is pretty awesome, I have to say. Wow. Okay, so I mean, how many times can you go on a date and, and do something nice for someone like that? Something life changing. So that feels great. All right, let me see. Quote the movie. Oh, cool. Tune or tail. So this looks like a little game. Uh, let me see. And I think that, okay, so it says like, quote the movie, the shop around the corner. So I guess you have to share a little quote and they have to guess what it is. A lot of this, I think I'm going to have to really read the instructions to understand what it's for, but this looks like a really fun game um, that, that you're going to play together. So that, that's cool. All right, so this looks like a little game. What else do we have? Ooh, we've got some yummy snacks. So this is a hot chocolate on a spoon. So that's really cool. So you just place in a mug with hot water, stir and enjoy. So if there's two of those for us, that is so neat. Wow, so we have hot chocolate. Let me see, ooh, okay, so this is a balsam fir incense, so it smells like a Christmas tree. Wow, I thought I smelled a Christmas tree when I was holding the box. Mmm, boy, that smells great. Okay, what else do we have? Huh, let's see what's in here. This is tied pretty well. Really good. Okay, I'm not sure what this is, but it almost smells like a soap. Mmm, that smells great. Not sure what that's for. Okay, and oh, look at this! This is awesome! Whoa! Okay, so they have included in here to make <clears throat> like a little gingerbread house bus trailer. This is awesome and I gotta tell you why it's so awesome so it's part of my dream in our life together is getting a little RV and doing a cross-country trip I just think that would be so so cool so this is like a little bus tow behind RV bus it looks like that you get to do a gingerbread um, craft out of that is awesome Wow yeah, that's what it is. Cool. Well, this looks like so much fun. So they've included everything that we need to make a little gingerbread house, but it's actually like a little trailer. We've got hot cocoa here. We've got incense. And this looks like a little bit of soap, and I don't know what that's for. And we've got a little game, and that looks like fun. And then, uh, and then supporting, of course, the women in Kenya is so cool. And then we have the music and stuff. So, okay, so let me see if I can find out what that soap's all about. All right, so we hope you found your included lumps of coal soap. Over 4 billion people around the globe eat food cooked over an open fire. Open fires are harmful to their health and the environment. The smoke is equivalent to smoking two packs of cigarettes per day. It is one of the leading causes of death to women and children in the developing world. Wow. What women need most is a stove. By partnering with the Adventure Project, your December box is helping to train women in Kenya and Tanzania to become stove entrepreneurs. They will learn how to earn a living by making and selling life-saving charcoal efficient stoves to their neighbors. Each stove made drastically reduces toxic smoke, cooks food faster, and saves six trees from being cut down and turned into charcoal cooking fuel. So I guess the soap is just to remind you of um, helping the women in Kenya. That is so cool. All right, so who am I? So that has a little bit of a game. In your box, you will find two stickers. Okay, so that's, we weren't quite sure about that, were we? Claim yours, and without your partner sneaking a peek, write the name of a Christmas character. Place the sticker on your partner's back. Have your partner do the same thing to you. As you both make your way through your date, your goal is to figure out who each of you are. You are not allowed to ask any questions about who you are. Interesting. 
Partners, give each other subtle clues as the night goes on. You can ask Santa if he's ready for the big night. Tell him you're glad he's not afraid of heights or that he looks good in red. Oh, that's so fun. Make it a little more fun by choosing what the reward will be for the person who guesses who they are first. Oh, I like that. So that's what those are about. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, oh, I don't know what that's about. Okay, so there's a discussion guide and it looks like you're gonna read a passage in Matthew having to do with the Christmas story. That's really neat. And then here's a checkpoint. Have you ever really thought about the perspective of the wise men before? Can you imagine gazing up at that many stars every night? How would it have made you feel close to your creator or far from him? Wow, so it talks a lot about astrology and who the wise men are. Cool. So um, there's just a lot of discussion about the Christmas story and they have a little bit of a break for you to go and make your hot chocolate. And then it's tune or tale, it's the little bit of trivia. Uh, let me see, how well do you think you know Christmas tunes and movies? Test your trivia skills in this, in this game of tune or tale. Take your included deck of cards and give them a shuffle. On one side you will find the name of the well-known Christmas song. On the other side you will find the title of a well-known Christmas movie. Take turns drawing a card. You will either hum the song or quote the movie until your partner guesses its title. You can give hints about the movie without using its title if no quotes come to mind. That's fun. And then it has create your gingerbread masterpiece. Okay, so we can't tell, okay. So this is what it says about the little RV. Okay, we, so we can't know for sure, but some scholars say that the wise men travel by RV. Is that the way you heard it? That would be the preferred method over camel these days, at least. Let's have some fun and make a gingerbread RV masterpiece. Oh, cool. Oh, look. This month we are giving away an epic prize from our friends at Airstream To Go. Airstream To Go is the exclusive factory authorized source in North America to rent current model Airstream trailers. No way! Custom matched to a dedicated Chevrolet Tahoe tow vehicle. The company provides rental customers with a premium vacation experience, turnkey in every element, including custom itinerary and activity planning. Up for grabs is a two-day, 28-foot international Airstream trailer vacation with a completely customized journey out west. Oh my goodness, this is a dream. Their signature series RVs designed by San Francisco's architect and designer Christopher C. Deem is what dreams are made of with a value of over $2,760. This is not a chance to be missed. How do I win? Decorate your gingerbread camper with the included supplies. Any other materials you have at your home are fair game too. Set the scene and take a picture. To win, you will need to include your date box in the picture and extra points go to creativity. Time to share on social media, Facebook and Instagram. You must use the hashtag FaithNightInbox and mention us at FaithNightIn and get your friends to like your post. Any extra love you can give us in your post to help spread the word about Faith Night In is greatly appreciated. The more likes your posts and picture gets, the more times you will be answered to win the prize. That is so cool. So I don't know if we've missed that because we're a little bit late in doing our Faith Night In box, but that is awesome. Whoa, that is a dream come true. And then it ends with prayer and reflection. So this seems like a really fun date. I cannot wait to do it with Ben and, um, and then tell you how we liked it. If you're interested in trying out Date Night In for yourself, I'll have that information below for you to check out. I am a partner with Date Night In uh, just for this next year and we'll see how, what happens after that. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed joining me in this video and seeing what was in my Faith Night In box. I cannot wait to give it a try with Ben and I'll let you know how we like the date and everything. If you're interested in checking out Date Night In, please check out the information below. I'll have uh, all the information you need listed there. Thank you for staying to the very end to give an update. So, so friends, I had so much exciting content that I plan to share with you for the month of December, uh, but things got a little bit crazy. My family came in to visit with me and then they were staying with me, which that part was great, but we all got really, really sick. And Sophia, my baby got sick and she's been teething. And so it, um, even our plans with my family didn't quite go as I expected or as I had planned them too. So um, everything just kind of went out the window. So I'm sorry that I 
wasn't on here and um, didn't post anything for the month of December, but I'm back and really excited about everything that's coming up for January. And in February, I'm really, really excited to be doing a subscriber love month. So I'll be doing all requested videos for the month of February. And at the end of the month, I have a special giveaway plan. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for being a subscriber and a friend here on YouTube and for um, just sticking in there with me during that whole just being absent for a whole month. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up just so I know that this was fun for you doing the whole unboxing and that maybe you'd want to see next month's box because I'll be getting another one in next month. And please comment below if date night in sounds like just a, a fun idea, a concept for you and your spouse what would be something you might like to try at home or have you done something that at home that was just really fun and neat and you'd like to share it with me and whoever else is here watching uh, just so we can maybe try it out too. That'd be really neat. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.